Hey guide lovers and welcome back to another video. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you never want anything bad to happen to your furry friend. That's why we came up with a list of potential cat hazards in your house and how to cat proof them. After all, cats are basically toddlers with fur so we need to keep an eye on them. Sadly, we even have a few real life stories that come from this list and I'm hoping these examples will save other cats from suffering the same fate. After all, we want them to live long and healthy lives. Now on to the list. Number one, bags. Cats are curious creatures. So in a cat's mind, an open bag is like a secret world waiting to be explored. Many cats will crawl inside a bag and lay in it like a bed and others will play with it. However, a cat in a bag can easily get stuck and suffocate to death. And I know of a real life example of this happening. One day, one of my wife's friends left a plastic grocery store bag on the table. When she came home, she found the cat dead inside the bag on the floor. Needless to say, this experience was pretty heartbreaking for her. So please keep bags away from your cats. An easy prevention is to get a bag holder so you can hide them and hang them somewhere your cat can't reach. Number two, windows. We all know that cats love windows, but windows have two hazards to them, blinds and screens. With blinds, cats are attracted to dangly objects like the blind strings. Think about it from their point of view. Doesn't a blind string look like a fun toy to bat at? But these strings are a major strangulation hazard. This is why every blind string in the house should be tied up and put out of reach. One way to do this is to install a blind cord safety wrap for every window. Not only are these cheap and easy to place, but they also keep the cords tucked away neatly. Another option is to ditch the blind cords altogether by getting cordless blinds. The second major hazard is the screens, and here's another real life story for you. A couple of years ago I heard my wife scream in the other room. When I came to see what was wrong, the bedroom window screen was knocked out and Sage was outside on the grass, so I immediately ran outside to catch him. But if we weren't home when this happened, we could have lost him. And thankfully, this window was on the first floor, otherwise he could have been severely hurt or worse. To prevent this from happening to your cat, check your screens every so often to make sure they are still secure. Number three, electrical cords. Many pet parents know that dogs like to chew things, but some don't realize that cats can also be chewers. And the last thing you want is your furry friend to chew on a hazard like electrical cords. Think of anything with a plug, such as computer cords, TV cords, power strips, and so on. To keep your cat safe from this type of hazard, use cable management sleeves or tubing. There are many different options out there and this safety measure is affordable and easy to install. As an added bonus, cable sleeves also serve as a way to keep cords neatly tucked and out of the way, giving the spot a cleaner look. Number 4. Plants Many cats like to eat plants. Not only is this frustrating to a plant lover, but some plants can actually be toxic to cats. But luckily, the ASPCA has a list of toxic and non-toxic plants on their website, which we'll have linked in the description box below. If you're a plant enthusiast with a cat, it can be overwhelming to figure out which plants are and aren't safe. This is why we recommend you print out or bookmark the ASPCA's list for reference. Finally, we can't forget about pointy plants like cacti. It's best to avoid these because as you can imagine, cactus points are pretty painful. But if you absolutely must have a cactus, just make sure it's in a spot that your cat can't get to. Number five, toys with strings. Every cat should have access to toys because they're a great way for them to exercise and stay occupied. However, your cat should not play with certain toys unattended, such as fishing pole toys. This is because these types of toys are strangulation hazards. This is not to say that you should completely ditch fishing toys, but when you're not playing with them, just make sure that these types of toys and anything else with strings are put in a place where your cat can't reach. While on that topic, ribbons, yarn, rubber bands, hair ties, and anything else string-like should also be hidden from your cat. Number six, appliances. Now by appliances, I'm talking about refrigerators, ovens, stovetops, washers, and dryers. The good news is that preventing an accident is pretty simple. Just look. When you open a fridge, it's possible for a cat to sneak in. We all know that cats can be stealthy, and if you have a kitten or a young cat, they are small enough to slip by undetected. If a cat gets stuck in the fridge, they will suffocate. The same rule applies to washers and dryers. Always look, because a cat can easily sneak in there if you get distracted or walk away before you turn it on. 
Also, we all know some cats like to jump on counters. So if you just cooked dinner and then you walked out of the room, a cat could get seriously burned if they step on the stove top. So if you have a cat that's counter obsessed, you can always add burner covers or burner locks to your stove. Number seven, furniture. When I say furniture, you might be thinking we're going a little overboard here, but hear me out. Recliners and automatic beds are also hazards, especially for small cats and kittens. Think about it. Cats like to crawl into things. So if you're reclined in your lazy boy, a cat can sneak under there, and then when you lower the footrest, it can get seriously hurt. The same goes for any other kind of automatic furniture. Just like with appliances, always look before you close. Another way that furniture can be hazardous is during earthquakes. If you live in an area that's prone to earthquakes, consider getting earthquake straps to put on big pieces of furniture. Number eight, candles. With candles, a cat, especially one with long fur, can catch on fire. Aside from that, candles can be a huge hazard to you and your home. Needless to say, if a cat knocks over a candle, your house can catch on fire. So if you have candles, make sure you only have them lit when you're in the room. Another solution is to use tart warmers instead, which have become pretty popular in recent years because they are much safer than traditional candles. Instead of a flame, a bulb melts a block of wax. So you get the same smell of a candle, but without the open flame. Number nine, toilets. Surprisingly, dogs aren't the only pets that like to drink toilet water. Some cats also like to drink out of a toilet because they are attracted to running water. Their primal instinct is to seek out running water because in nature, running water is usually safer to drink than still water. But although toilet water is regularly flushed, it is still a breeding ground for germs and bacteria that can potentially make your pet sick. Another danger is the chemicals used to clean toilets. For example, toilet cleaners that are left inside the toilet reservoir continuously release chemicals into the water. So if a cat drinks out of the toilet, they are ingesting those chemicals, which can be deadly. The easiest solution is to always keep the toilet lid closed when not in use. If your furry friend is highly attracted to toilet water, another thing you can do is get them a cat drinking fountain to satisfy their love of running water. Number 10, cars. This next item applies mainly to outdoor cats, and that's cars. More specifically, car engines. Cats are attracted to warm places, so it's not uncommon for them to crawl under cars. If they get in the right spot, they can get caught in the fan belt. Then, when you start the car, you'll hear a tragedy. This is yet another hazard that I have a real life story for. When my father-in-law was a kid, his family started the car while a cat was unknowingly hiding underneath. Needless to say, the aftermath was pretty traumatizing for them. This is why it's always a good idea to bang on the hood of a car before you get in, especially if you live in an area with lots of stray cats. Number 11, foods and drinks. There are certain foods in your kitchen that are hazardous to cats. Some examples are grapes, raisins, and onions. It's easy to drop a few pieces of onion as you're chopping or leave a bowl of grapes out when you step out of the room. This is why the best rule of thumb is to keep all people foods away from cats. There are also toxic drinks like alcohol and caffeine. Although this sounds obvious, it's easy to forget a cup of coffee or beer on the table which your cat could easily get to. Remember that caffeine and alcohol are absolutely toxic to cats. Number 12, chemicals and medications. Although this one may sound obvious, this is far too important to leave off the list. As we all know, cats are curious creatures, so they can easily paw open a cabinet filled with chemicals such as cleaning products. Bleach, dishwashing pods, and antifreeze are just a few of the many chemicals that are absolutely deadly if ingested. So to protect your cat, put a child safety lock on cabinets with chemicals or keep them completely out of reach. I know this is another obvious one, which is why we group these together, but it also has to be said. Prescription drugs are also a hazard for cats. Remember that these medications are designed for humans, not animals. This means that a safe dosage for a human can be deadly to an animal. So if you use a pill organizer, consider zipping it in a bag that way it won't pop open if a cat knocks it on the ground. And just like for chemicals, you can also get child safety locks. After hearing this list, do you think your home is cat proof? If not, what changes do you plan on making? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another cat video. Finally, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday.